What's up my friends and welcome back to your daily dose of Fortnite here in the Happy Power channel. In today's video I have for you guys an updated storyline for the end of season 4 and beginning of season 5, as well as the storyline for the Durburger itself. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get right into today's topic. Alrighty guys, so to start off the storyline, we're gonna go right back to the start of this Durburger appearing in the California desert. Now, how did it get there? Now, we're not quite sure, but in fact, it did in fact appear at the exact same time that it did disappear from the game Fortnite. So upon the actual Durburger pretty much disappearing from Fortnite, it actually appeared in the California desert around the same time. Meaning a lot of people speculate that it pretty much teleported from our reality to real life reality. Pretty crazy stuff and let's keep going on. So, what happens next? A few agents start to appear at the site. The very first agent was codenamed 3678. Now agent 3678 was handing out cards with a phone number on it and pretty much upon calling that phone number, you guys would hear this in the background video. So we could definitely tell that is the actual sound from when the portals in fact do open or teleport an item or an oddity to a different location. So we definitely know that in fact it did in fact teleport from Fortnite into alternate reality which of course would be Earth. Pretty dang crazy stuff and the storyline continues on. So a lot of people ask them questions and they really don't answer any questions, they're pretty much playing along with the storyline. They won't even answer who they work for or why they're doing there, they pretty much just say we're here to study the anomaly. Now a few days go by and a brand new agent just arrives. Her name is actually going to be Agent 3742 and again she hands out cards with the exact same phone number. Now today is actually pretty different as the phone number does in fact change to a different audio source. So I'm just going to play the second audio source for you guys, and then we'll discuss it right afterwards. Okay, so you guys heard the original audio source, but recalling that audio source while dialing 06 upon actually dialing it, we'd actually get this audio source instead. It's actually a secret audio source. Alright, pretty freaking eerie, right guys? Well, decoded within that, that second audio source to the secret 06 dial, we actually found out there's actually coordinates that point towards a secret location in Paris. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that actual location down in the description down below, but in the background video, this is actually the secret decoded location upon dialing 06 and the second decoded phone number. Pretty crazy stuff. Now continuing on with the storyline, a new agent arrives. This agent is named 6483, now for the longest time, for whatever reason, he would not say who he was. Pretty freaking weird, right? To top things off, there's also another brand new agent that just appeared, 6483. And guys, I know it sounds like the same number, but it's completely different. Agent 6483 is the guy with the map on his clipboard. And Agent 6483, well, that actually might be a fake character, as we cannot figure out who he is or anything of that nature. And he just simply acts really weird. Like, wait, ask questions. <laughs> what happened to Agent 6483? 6483? Yeah. Do you mean 6483? Yeah. 6483 is right over there, and 6483 is right over there. I do not know of 6483. Interesting. Um, both of my supervisors Hold are on. there. Um, this looks incredibly important. Yes. Okay, thank please you. be careful. Thank you. Now going back to Agent 3742, which is the woman with the white coat, we actually see that there's actually a reference to it also in the game item. So you can definitely tell the camera she is wearing is, is pretty much of the same era of the current skins of the game that have to do with detectives and all that good stuff. So it seems like Fortnite is actually going along with the storyline of current in-game skins with real life. Just like it is with the Durburger missing from the game and appearing in real life. And so the plot tickens. So the woman with the white coat, Agent 3742, 
has actually been tasting the dirt burger and is now starting to feel effects of some sort of weird anomaly and is acting completely weird and actually have for you guys some incredible footage from my good friend Josh A over on Twitter who pretty much went to the real life dirt burger and was nice enough to actually record this audio source for us and of course the video source and to share it with us on his YouTube channel. So to sit back and relax and watch this crazy crazy video from the dirt burger and the people acting completely weird. Excuse me, agent. Has anybody tasted the burger? We appreciate your information. All right. That is a helpful beginning. Thank you. I mean, the anomaly. Has anybody tasted the anomaly? Oh, the anomaly. Yes. Well, she licks it every day. She licks it every day? Yes, she, she, she's quite fond of this flavor. Have you tasted the anomaly? I certainly have. What is your research on the anomaly? What so is my far? research on the anomaly? What have you gotten so far? I have gathered many different samples uh, from the surrounding areas and the anomaly itself. Um, we have measurements. We have been using several different senses in order to uh, adjust the perspectives. Um, what have you found? Um, is there a rift underneath the anomaly? A rift? A rift. Underneath? Underneath. I have not been able to see underneath the anomaly. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and then suck that out. Stuff is teleporting in here yeah. too. Yeah. If you do dance. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what, <laughs> what you guys are doing. Dances? What are we talking about? When you do a certain dance, yeah. stuff like up here. 57. 267. That was odd. But what, is but like, the, what do the numbers mean? Or type of unit like that? Oh, I cannot reveal what I was measuring. I'm just letting you know which numbers were odd. Have you heard anything about llamas? About llamas? Some people yesterday were talking about llamas. Have you seen them? Seen no. No? Do no. you think those are anomal anomalies? Do I think? I, I haven't seen any llamas. I know that we have an anomaly here, and I know a few anomalies have appeared elsewhere, some colorful ones, something. Yes. Um, but I don't know anything about llamas. How did it taste again? There was this unnamed quality. Unnamed quality? Yeah. Are you sure you're not going through any symptoms? Going through any symptoms, I might be. You might be. I certainly have been evaluating everything and all angles and all perspectives. Interesting. Are yeah. you an alien? Am I an alien? Yeah. No. I am an agent. You're an agent? Yes. I am an agent and I am a scientist. Does that mean you're a human? <coughs> Are you a human? I am a human. Are you sure? I'm positive. Positive? Yes. Um, so not like negative seven. Um, are you odd or even? Um, I'm not sure about that. That's interesting. Are you experiencing any memory loss? I am not, no. Okay, a lack of certainty as to whether you are odd or even. Um, he might be odd. Is the car an anomaly? Uh, the car is here. The car, why is it here? Uh, you're gonna have to ask the policeman that. But where are they? That is a good question. I do not know, I have not spoken to them. Will they be appearing soon? Do you think they'll be appearing soon? Possibly. If the policeman could take his car, that would be interesting. Why would, would you, do you want the car here or no? The car is irrelevant to my research on the anomaly. Interesting. Oh really? But I'm talking about you agents, any visitors. Have I had any visitors? Yes, from the agents. Oh, for, well we have some more agents coming later today, yes, absolutely. Oh really? Yes. Are you fake? Uh, are you real? <laughs> yes. Then yes. Okay. Um, do you have any proof? Proof of the anomaly? Yes, it's right there. Interesting. It's right behind me. It's beautiful, isn't it? Thing today. What was happening with you earlier? You were freaking out a bit. Yeah. What was the anomaly doing to you? I can't, I can't speak anymore on this. Who do you work for? I cannot speak. I cannot answer that question. Okay. Now we could definitely tell that the woman in the white coat is definitely acting weird, like what is going on with her? Well we actually found out she's been tasting the dirt burger every single day or tasting the oddity and is now starting to feel effects of just simply feeling weird. She has noted this numerous times in live streams that I actually noticed. I'm not sure if I actually featured video of it, I'm not quite sure just yet, but if I in fact did or I didn't, pretty much if you guys have ever seen other videos she's been talking about like she's starting to feel weird, pretty much because she's been tasting the oddity itself and now she's starting to feel some weird effects from it. Now to top things off, you guys definitely know that llamas have been appearing all over the world such as Germany and like Berlin and France and just all kinds of crazy locations within Europe. 
Now Josh has asked the agents if they know about the llamas, and guys, they actually do know about the anomalies that are pretty much llamas appearing off of the map, they just don't know why they're there, or pretty much are not really interested as far as the llamas itself. So pretty interesting, they seem to only care about the actual anomaly when it comes to the actual Durburger itself. Now something quite interesting is that I actually made a map, and on this map is all the locations of the current llamas found in the game. Now you guys might have noticed it makes a shape. Now looking into that shape of actually putting it together, well it looks like a UFO. Now why am I mentioning this in the background video? Well, take a look at this photo that Josh actually took when the Dirtburger just got here and they went there at night to see if they could actually sneak into the tent to see what's on the desk or what secret inside the tent itself. And guys, they got this eerie photo in the background video. So we can definitely tell there's UFOs, there's burger recipes, and all kinds of crazy stuff, and what the heck is going on? The llamas make a UFO on the map in Europe, and there's UFO booklets all over their tent in pretty much the Durburger in real life. So what the heck does that possibly mean? Well, throughout the season 3, 4, and pretty much probably going to be 5 storylines so far, we've seen numerous alien references and so many crazy things in the sky. Uh, we always thought the meter at first was going to be an alien spaceship and stuff like that. There's basically alien references everywhere, so it's pretty weird and not really quite sure what it's going to be. Now, as of right now, that's all the main information I have for you guys. There's some other details that are pretty much not that important. I just want to showcase for you guys all the important, most important things in this video so far. So, that's pretty much the storyline so far upon the actual Durbricker, what's going on. And guys, Agent 6483 does in fact say there's going to be new agents coming to Fortnite's brand new Durburger in real life, so we'll keep you guys updated tonight when all these agents return, and he's actually hinting towards something crazy happening, so stay tuned to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on, check out Josh A down in the description down below, subscribe to his YouTube channel as well as his Twitter, as he is in fact posting constant updates every single day just like me, and I would appreciate you guys going to his YouTube channel and tell him happy send you guys. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay happy, my friends.